Well, I needed to do a little copper pipe work, and uh, you know, when I was younger, I uh, would try to solder stuff and just had a really terrible time. And, uh, so I thought I would just take a few seconds and show how to uh, quickly do some uh, soldering of copper pipe that's no fail. It's going to work every time for you. Let me just cover a few basics. This is. Uh, this is some OD lead free solder. You're going to be able to find that at Home Depot uh, or somewhere like that. This is also some, oops, some OD uh, lead free solder paste. Uh, you'll be able to find that. I'll try to put this stuff down in the description too in case um, you can't find it. You're also going to need some way to clean the copper pipe. I used to use, uh, I used to use sandpaper on the outside, but sandpaper gets kind of fiddly and hard on the inside of fittings. So I would recommend one of these. Uh, this one came from Harbor Freight. Uh, it was two dollars. So you know you can get them really cheap. Uh, you can also find them on Amazon. I'll link one down there in the bottom for you. Um, okay. So the first thing you got to do is cut your pieces to length. And um, this is a pipe cutter, small pipe cutter. My lengths are not too critical, but when you when you measure your lengths, you measure up into to this part right here. That's how far up there it's going to go. So if you had to have a, a critical amount of space, you measure. If you measure to here, you're not going to have enough. You got to go all the way up into there, like that. Okay. So be sure you look at, and you can even dry fit them and see how far up in there they seat, and have an idea of how much you're going to have to cut. My lengths are not the least bit uh, critical. You just hold on to it, give it, just tighten it down a little bit, give it a turn until it gets loose. Keep going, a little more. Just keep turning, tightening, turning, tightening. Okay, now the back side of this is to deburr the inside. Just give it a few turns. Now I'm not wearing gloves, uh, but this, these ends where you just cut them, they can cut you if you let it spin in your hand. So you might want to wear some gloves. Okay, so then you'll go on. I've got to cut one more piece. Now the whole secret to this is cleanliness. And you got to think of your hands as dirty, okay? So we've got to clean the insides of all this stuff and we've got to clean uh, the outsides of the pipe. So this tool makes it very easy. You just take the correct end. This one does half inch pipe and three quarter inch pipe. You just stick it in there. Twist it back and forth. And you can see what the outside looks like. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Come on, focus up camera. There we go. You can see what the inside looks like. Got to be sure it's clean. You look in there, if you see any of that dark colored stuff just hit it some more times so I'm going to do the insides of all these fittings all right now comes the hard part this would not be the hard part if I was doing had longer pieces of pipe but I got these little fiddly pieces of pipe and so it's going to be kind of hard but you just sort of screw them up in there till they reach the other side and that's about the depth that you need to be sure that you're brushing. You go in one direction only because if you try to reverse it, you're going to want to do that. And then look at that finished product. And you want to look at it if you've missed the spots, be sure you go back and get them. The other thing is, is you got to be sure you brush back far enough that when you put that in that fitting, you've got nice bright copper sticking out because this won't wick, if it's dirty, it won't wick the solder in there like it's supposed to. Okay, now, this end's clean. I can't turn it around and touch it with my dirty hands. So I'm gonna take a clean towel and hold on to it while I do the other end. See that one, I don't know if you can see, but it's still got some of the darker brown in it, so I've got to do it some more. Okay, now I'm going to take my flux, and you can use a rag, but what I normally do 
is I get a little flux on my finger and then I wipe that off on something like a paper towel to get my finger clean. Because a lot of times you're doing this under a house or something. And then just my little finger will just barely stick in there. Be sure you don't cut your fingers doing this. Get both sides. You're just coating all that area that you just cleaned. You're coating all of that with the flux. I'm about to run out. I'm going to have to buy some more. Be sure you get all the way to the bottom of the fitting as far as the pipe is going to be. Okay, now I can start fitting these together. I'm going to pick them up by the middle part. Flex these ends. Being sure that I'm flexing all of the part that's shiny. Okay, so flux has a mild acid in it. This flux does. Some of them has a, have strong acid in them. Um, so, you know, you might want to wear some gloves when you do this. I'm just, I've never have. So I'm just showing you what I have always done. All right, so I've put it up on a fire brick. That's not necessary. Uh, I'm just trying to get it up off my table so it'll heat better. The heat won't sink into the table. Okay, so now everything is perfectly clean. This is the most important thing. If you've got it all clean, if you can see bright copper at each joint so that when you touch it, it's the solder's going to jump up in there. You know, if you look and you've got dirty copper all the way up to your joint, you're going to have to stop and clean that part. Okay, so then you got to get you a propane torch. Just a regular propane torch. We're going to take our solder. Pull it out a little bit like that. And I'll tell you, let's just start right here. You'll see your flux start to bubble. Not quite ready yet. When I touch this to it, it should melt immediately, and there it goes. And that's plenty, and it just jumps right up in there. So now we're just going to move to our next joint. It doesn't take a whole lot, and it just jumps up in there. It goes toward the heat. So if you notice, if it's not moving where you need it to. Either it's not clean or the parts aren't hot enough. And that's why you see me heating the the T first because I want it to jump into the T. So I'm getting it so it'll be the hottest. That'll encourage it to run that direction. A little more heat here. This whole thing's getting hot as I'm going, so it goes a little faster. The heat transfers. So if you kind of work in a pattern, it'll help you. You can see the solder just jump up in there. Again, heat, heat your fitting first.
All right, and that's all there is to it. You're gonna let that cool, and then it can get installed. Um, I hope if you've never done copper pipe before, or if you've had uh, trouble in the past, you'll give this a try. If you will clean it and do just what I showed you here, it's gonna work every single time. Uh, you get your pieces fitted together and uh, clean them really well, and it'll work. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.